Hello, I'm Francois from Chakmat. We just released an expander for the Bart Quartet, and we're here to demonstrate how it works. First thing you need to know in order to have the expander working with your Bart Quartet module is your Bart Quartet needs to run on the 1.1 firmware, which is the case for factory modules with batch number A12 or higher. If your batch number is from A1 to A11, you can upload the new firmware. To do so, check our support page on our website www.chakmat.com. First time you connect the expander module on the Bart Quartet, you need to enable the expander on the Bart Quartet module so it knows it has more inputs and outputs. To do so, when starting your modular rig, you need to press the edit button on the Bart Quartet. As you can see, the ARP button is blinking as the four channel buttons are doing this animation. As you can see, the C12 button is on, meaning the expander is disabled. And if you want to enable the expander, you press the D sharp button and confirm by pressing the ARP button. If you don't want to use the expander anymore, you need to disable it. To do so, press the edit button at startup and select the C sharp button, which disable the expander from the Bart Quartet. First feature the expander adds to the Bart Quartet is more gate inputs and trigger outputs. How does it work? First channel is still working with the gate input and trigger outputs on the main module, as channel 2, 3 and 4 will work with the corresponding inputs and outputs on the expander. You still need to do the assignation of the inputs and the outputs. Let's, for example, assign the second channel gate input. So you need to go in the edit menu. So as you can see, gate input and trigger outputs are already activated here. Let's, for example, assign just the gate input. Another example on channel 4. As you can see, both gate input and trigger output are activated. Again, first channel still works with the gate input and trigger output on the main module and not on the expander. Second feature is, thanks to the expander, you can now control by MIDI the scale of the quantization thanks to this MIDI input. This MIDI input is a TRS MIDI input. You can change the A or B norm on the back of the module thanks to jumpers. In order to activate the MIDI control of the scale on a certain channel, you need first to select the channel and then press on the MIDI button. You can now control the scale by MIDI. Note, each channel of the Bart Quartet is controlled by the corresponding MIDI channel. So, channel 1 will be controlled by the first MIDI channel and channel 2 will be controlled by the second MIDI channel and so on. When grouping the channel, all the channel group will follow the MIDI channel corresponding to the selected channel. So for example, if all the channels are grouped and I'm selecting the first channel, MIDI channel 1 will control the quantization of the four channels. So let's show an example. I'm just starting a clock for first channel in arpeggiato mode. I'm now controlling the first channel scale with the key step. As you can see, I'm now controlling the scale thanks to the keyboard. This allows several applications. You could, for example, with a DO, have four different MIDI clips which control the quantization of the four different channels. With the keyboard, I can also very easily edit scales on different harmonies. So, on the first harmony, this one, second harmony, the scale, third harmony, scale, and fourth harmony. If you want to go back to the normal scale editing without any MIDI, you just repress on the MIDI button on the Bart Quartet Expander. There is another way to use the MIDI input on the Bart Quartet Expander. 
Actually, you can turn any channel of the BART Quartet into a MIDI to CV gate converter. Like the MIDI scale control, this feature is per channel, meaning you can have, for example, channel 1 working as a MIDI to CV gate converter, as channel 2 is still working as a quantizer. In order to activate the MIDI to CV gate conversion, just press for a couple of seconds the MIDI button, which is now blinking. The first channel is now controlled by the key step and working as a standard MIDI to CV gate converter. Right now I'm only working with the CV out. If I want to activate the gate out, I need to go into the edit menu and press on the trigger output button in order to activate it. And there is more, as I can also quantize the incoming MIDI notes by repressing on the MIDI button, which is now blinking fast. So incoming MIDI notes will be quantized according to the scale I'm editing on the Bart Quartet keyboard. So if I'm only selecting white keys, for example, as you can hear, black keys on the key step are ignored. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you soon.